Hello YouTube world. Uh, I want to introduce my project. This is my 1927 Ford Model T. I just want to explain how I'm building the frame. Um, I've watched a lot of YouTube videos. And there's a lot of people out there that build them, but nobody really explains how um, in detail how to make sure it's square or the importance of things having things that you're going to use when building your frame, like the right tire size, um, engine transmission, coil overs, things like that. I think that's all important when building a frame to get the end result that you're looking for. Um, ride, ride height is very important. <clears throat> so what I started out with is this 27T that I bought from somebody else, and it had a frame underneath it, it was on full air ride, kind of a cantilever style suspension. I just wasn't happy with it. So I ended up contacting Mike Wagner at Cornfield Customs, um, have him bid me a set of two by four, 120 wall uh, frame rails. These are those. And what I did is I, when I talked to Mike, I told Mike like tire size I want to use, um, axles, things like that. And we determined that I wanted a six inch ride height wheelbase of 107 inches and Mike has all that drawn out uh, so after I got the rails back from Mike I measured a Model A frame because I like the way that the frame tapers in the front along that front rail um, so I measured a Model A frame and I come up with a cardboard template of the shape that I liked and I placed it on the rails and then I shortened them or pie cut them to get kind of a, a original shape. Um, then the next thing I did after cutting, welding, grinding was I clamped the rails together and I scored a line on both sets of rails front and rear. Same thing over there. Um, as these were clamped together, I measured, um, used a square, scored the line. That way, when I went to set these up, I had a common measuring point to get them square and aligned with each other. Um, I know this should probably have been built on a steel jig, but I just don't have room for that or the funds. So I started out with some two by sixes and some half inch plywood. Um, it's four foot wide and I'm thinking 54 inches long, can't remember. Um, measured it out, it's level. Um, level in all four directions. <coughs> now I got no high dollar level or nothing it's just an old harbor freight angle finder but that's all level in both directions so that determined my light ride height um, i set the frame rails up squared them up and i took some three by three angle there's four pieces there's one right there one right there one right there and one right there after i determined my width in the rear <clears throat> my width in the front I got these all squared up. I um, clamped them to the frame rails and then bolted them down with some lag bolts into the two by six and then stitch welded all four of them to make sure it wouldn't move. So that determined my right height. And I put my axles under it. The front axle is kind of easy to locate because your cross member is already in place. Well, mine was anyways. Um, so that determined where my front axle was going to go. And then I knew I needed a wheelbase of 107 inches. So I measured from the center of the front wheel, the center of the rear wheel. And as of right now, the rear is not connected. So um, that would have to be changed again later. Um, that determined where the rear wheels were going to go. And I set my front cross member um, at 7 degrees. 
because I'm going to run my axle between 7 and 9. Um, I feel 7 degrees is um, a good angle for your caster. Um, and after all that was done, uh, I loaded in a rear cross member. Well, it's just tack loaded because I'm not sure if I want to run a 2x3 or a 1x2 for a rear cross member for my coilovers. I set the, took some measurements of the body to determine where the cow was going to land. And after I measured that all out, then I grabbed my motor and transmission. Um, it's just a free small block Chevy that I got from a friend. The transmission is a 350 turbo that I got from another project. I set that in place, got it all centered and level. Um, carburetor, the intake sets level. The tail shaft is at three degrees. Um, then once all that was determined, I used my Speedway uh, universal motor mounts. And I cut them to fit, stitch welded those on. And once I knew where those went, I, uh, after having my axle tacked in place, I gotta make some new brackets to hold my wishbones um, where I want them. But then I uh, put my Vega steering box, measured it so it's going to be directly in line. And after all that was done, set my body on. Started trying to center that up, figure out where that's going to go. I'm wanting to build a X member, K member style, just to help reinforce the frame, give it a little more structure. Right now I'm trying to determine what style of brake pedal I want to use. Uh, I got to build a transmission mount. Obviously you need to finish the four link. I uh, lost the two upper bars. This is a used kit I bought from somebody else. And I lost my upper link bars so I ordered some stuff from Speedway to make some new ones. Hopefully they'll be in the next couple days. Um, hope to have some more videos of this. If anybody's interested, um, like, comment, whatever. Hope to hear, share some more on this. Thank you guys for watching.